Hello, my name is Dan Goddard and welcome to the Alpha People channel. In this short video I'll be demonstrating some of the new functionality in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. This clip will involve demonstrating multiple forms for single entities. A single entity type can have more than one form to display relevant records and information to users depending on their security roles. So let's have a look. The first thing I'd like to show you is the solution itself. Within a solution we can have many entities and multiple forms per entity, very different from version 4. So we can see a standard account information form. Beneath that I've created and prepped for you a salesperson form. Um, the sales manager may wish to see uh, more of a, a, a high-end overview of sales information. So we have the sales manager form there. There could be a service support form relevant for cases and the service manager could view an individual um, high-end service form and there can be a marketing form. All of these applicable to just one account entity. Okay, If I go into my uh, demonstration account world software here, the first form that's loaded is information to demonstrate to you. Uh, under information we can see the standard general address and description and detail information for world software. Okay, But using the drop down at the top here I currently have the rights to also view a different form for this same account, the salesperson form. I can see the general information which I can minimize here and I can view my open opportunities just for me in that grid. I can also minimize that and view my opportunity charts uh, as well as deals won versus deals lost and scroll down to my lost opportunities if I wish to as well. Okay, Or simply use the tabs on the left hand side. I've pre-built a completely different form that's relevant for the sales manager. The sales manager will wish to view detail relevant to the entire organization so I can minimize general and view open opportunities for the entire organization. I look at opportunity charts deals won versus deals lost by the owner, lost opportunities and even navigate to a completely different style of form for the service department of this organization. So as well as again that general information for world software. In service I can view my open cases, my case charts by priority, case resolution by trend. I can change these if I wanted to on the fly by using the, uh, the drop down. Minimize my charts, view any closed cases just here. The service manager on the other hand again will have a high-end view of cases throughout the system. If I just minimize general they'll be able to see open cases for the entire organization case mix by priority and let's say for this example resolved case satisfaction and um, I can view here that there's more uh, dissatisfied uh, resolved cases maybe due to the fact that they're being created as low priority so it's something I can look into, drill down, find out who is creating these low priority cases and work with that information and look at closed cases beneath as well and uh, it goes on really. You can create forms for marketing, uh, make sure that that information is relevant and to make these apply to users without, uh, throughout CRM you simply need to work within the solution again, click on the forms and assign security roles to various um, forms. So I can single click on the uh, service support form. Who should see this? Well, by clicking on Assign Security Roles, I can ensure that the service support form is not only viewable by the system, customizer and administrator of CRM, 
but also the CSR manager and the customer service representative as well. So we apply those changes and they will be viewable to people with that particular security role. That's it really, it's as simple as that. Um, to change the forms we simply use the drop down here and depending on the rights you have you'll be able to see one or two or many forms per single account. Another very powerful feature of Microsoft CRM 2011 is the ability to customise on the fly here. So I'm looking at my World Software account and I can customise as an administrator by clicking on Customise tab here and make changes to the entity from this view without having to go into the settings area. So I can click on Form. It will load the form into a design mode here where I can drag and drop fields and add sections and charts and something quite powerful here is the ability to reuse this form that I've created this unique form and reuse it by saving as another form for a marketing professional uh, campaigner anything I like uh, by resaving it and making changes to my new form very powerful so that's a very brief look at multiple forms for entities in CRM 2011 I hope you found that useful very soon there'll be uh, some more videos appearing uh, exploring uh, simplified navigation, the added functionality, dashboard, SharePoint integration and more detailed CRM charts as well so look out for those if you need to contact us our details are on screen now, our address, telephone number and the uh, website all the w's.alphapeople.com in the meantime thanks very much for watching and goodbye for now